Poultry Production for Grade 7 and 8. Our topic is Using Farm Tools and Equipment. Most Essential Learning Competency Select and Use Farm Tools and Equipment The learners demonstrate an understanding of the underlying theories in using farm tools and equipment for poultry production. Farmers provide us with food through domesticated animals. Farmers work in rigorously, day in and day out. They wake up early in the morning and go home late in the afternoon. Work during sunny and rainy days. Despite these working conditions, farming is one of many needed skills in our country and the world. There are a lot of opportunities for farmers here and abroad. In other countries, Filipino farmers earn higher than what ordinary employees receive in the Philippines. Farmers provide us with food through domesticated animals. Farmers work in rigorously, day in and day out. They wake up early in the morning and go home late in the afternoon. Work during sunny and rainy days. Despite these working conditions, farming is one of many needed skills in our country and the world. There are a lot of opportunities for farmers here and abroad. In other countries, Filipino farmers earn higher than what ordinary employees receive in the Philippines. Farmers know the tools and equipment in the farm and how to use them properly. Before you perform some farm activities, determine the areas of concern for safety. This lesson will help you to identify various tasks on the farm, determine places for application of safety measures, determine the appropriate time for employing safety measures, and identify proper tools and equipment in animal production. Poultry are feathered animals used for food such as chicken, ducks, and geese. Farming is one among of the needed skills in our country and in the world. Lots of promising opportunities for farmers here and abroad are coming up. Therefore, it can be said that in the process of using poultry farm tools and equipment should be carried out according to direction of poultry production. Day 1. Before we start of the lesson, answer this pre-test. Direction. Name the following given tools and equipment used in poultry production. The basic tools and equipment in poultry production. Basic tools are used for cleaning purposes while special ones are made for certain activities. A special tool is a big trimmer, nest, box, and weighing scales. Garden tools. Every small farm needs a flat spade and a pointed spade for digging. A good digging fork is a multipurpose tool used for breaking up and turning soil in the garden harvesting and the for manure clean up around the barn the spade the step-by-step -step guide in using a spade place the spade vertically into the ground place your foot onto the spade edge and apply pressure evenly make sure to hold the grip with both hands tightly once the spade enters the ground vertically the grip should move away from the body a little bit which enforces the leverage effect. Now pull the grip towards your body. Then slide down one hand until you reach the edge of the blade and hold it. Keep one hand on the grip while bending your knees and slowly dig out the earth. Make sure to move calmly and continuously. Slowly strengthen your knees and move the soil onto the speed blade. Shovel. Shovels are used for cleaning ditches, digging and moving soil, and other granular materials. They are also used for leveling a base for seal rocks. The do's and don'ts in using a shovel. Make sure that the terrain you are digging is free from cables and pipes. If you are not sure, contact authorities for location of cables and pipes prior to digging. Wear the proper protective clothing, safety footwear, gloves, long pants if necessary. Allow for safe distance between people if you are working with other people. The following are the shovel digging procedure. Number 1. Push shovel down using leg muscle. 
Number two, slide load close to body. Ensure load is loose from ground before lifting. The rake. Rake is a tool used to clean and level the ground. The correct use of rake. First, determine the destination area where the leaves will go after collection, whether it's in a bag or a curb, back into the garden as mulch, or in a backyard compost pile. Second, decide how much time you can spend raking each day or get help and divide up the task. Third, get a rig and a big plastic sheet around 6 feet square. A large sheet of barlop or an old drop cloth or other sturdy fabric will also work. Fourth, moving your feet, rake the leaves straight back and move with the rig as you walk toward the back. Then, spread the plastic sheet on the ground near the raking area. Pull the leaves over the plastic sheet with the help of the rake. When it covers the whole sheet, take one corner of the sheet and join it with a corner diagonally across from it. Then, do the same with the other diagonal. Carry the leaves to the destination area or dump them into bags. Alternately use a grass catcher from a push mower or a large dustpan designed for outdoor collection. You'll make more smaller trips to whatever collecting the leaves, but each trip will be lighter to carry. The Bolo A bolo is a large cutting tool of Filipino origin similar to machete, used particularly in the jungles of Indonesia, the Philippines, and in the sugar fields of Cuba. The primary use of the bolo is clearing vegetation, whether for agriculture or during trailblazing. The Spading Pork A spading pork is used for loosening the soil, digging out root crops, and turning over the materials in a compost heap. The Electric Power Tools Electric power tools is a device that is activated by a power source apart from manual labor. There are various types of power tools like electric screwdriver, hammer drills, and fast screw guns. There are dozens of electric power tools available at hardware and home stores, but there are two must-haves for any type of around-the-farm construction project. These are the circular saw and a drill or driver, preferably the rechargeable battery operated type. Hand tools. Hand tools are tools held in the hand and operated without electricity or other power. Every farm needs a variety of hand tools. The following are the different hand tools. Tape measure, a 25 foot and a 100 foot tape measure. A good claw hammer with a comfortable grip. Electrician's pliers. A socket and driver set. Adjustable wrenches in several sizes. A screwdriver set with both regular and Phillips head drivers. Fencing tools. Farms and fences go hand in hand. Plan on purchasing fence post driver. A driver is a heavy iron tube that goes over the top of a T-post and that has handles on the side. You use it to pound the post into the ground. A pair of fence pliers is a great and fairly inexpensive specialty tool to have. We are fans of electric fences. They are economical, efficient, and safe. But when you have an electric fence, you need a fence tester. The following are examples of fencing tools. Carpenter's level, steel tape, power digger, hand digger, and steel post driver. Miscellaneous tools, pocket knives. We always carry pocket knives when out working, and a leatherman type is a handy all-in-one tool. Heavy-duty flashlights. 
Heavy duty flashlights are a must when the lights go out during a heavy storm or when you need to tend a livestock emergency in the pasture at night. Garden hose. Garden hoses are a must, but when buying, purchase the longest and strongest available. The last miscellaneous tool on the list is the digging bar. It is for digging large rocks out of the garden, construction sites, or fence holes. Equipment and facilities in poultry production. Number 1. Dropping board. These fixtures should be provided in the laying house to facilitate collection of manure. Purchase. These are horizontal poles where birds can sit and dress, especially during night time. Sufficient purchase should be constructed to prevent the birds from crowding at night. Nest. Hens or layers lay their eggs in a nest. A nest could be either open or closed. The nest should be built on a partition or end walls. It should be high enough above the floor so that the hens can work under them. Each nest should be from 10 to 14 inches square or more depending upon the size of the breed. About 4 inches high in the open side to retain the nesting materials. It is advisable to have dark nests. Feeding trough. These should be constructed so as to keep the hens from scratching the feeds and wasting it especially when the birds are laying eggs. Drinking trough. Drinking jars should be large and sufficient enough to supply the water needs of the birds for the whole day. It is estimated that one kerosene can of water, approximately 29 liters, is enough for 100 layers of the whole day. Feed bins. These are containers where feeds are stored for future use. Feeds can also be kept in petroleum cans which are cheap, rat-proof, and if painted, will last longer. Incubator. A device for maintaining the eggs of the birds to allow them to hatch. Brooder. A brooder is a can heated container that can have its temperature controlled in at least one area. It is used to confine chicks with their feed and water until they are 2 weeks old and ready to go outside. Beak trimmer, a specialized tool used for partial removal of deep beak of a chick. Day 2, Development, Learning Task Number 2 Direction, choose the letter of the correct answer. Day 3, Engagement, Learning Task Number 3 Direction, draw the following equipment needed in poultry production. Day 4, Assimilation, Learning Task Number 4 Directions, create your own video showing the proper use of any tools that you have at home. Submit the video to your teacher. You will be graded according to the rubrics that will be given to you. Day 5, Assessment, Learning Task Number 5 Directions, answer the questions below. Submit your answer to your teacher. Reflections, write your personal insights about the lesson using the prompts below. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.